it's October 28, 2014, and um, the price has just broken the neckline of an inverted head and shoulders pattern. And um, this is the the shoulder. This is the head, and this is the shoulder. This is the neckline. The green line right here is the neckline. And the price has just broken out of the neckline. The price has just broken out of the neckline. Now, this head, and sh this inverted head and shoulders pattern, if it stays above the neckline, we can be looking for a, a move higher. And how we look for that move, how we know anticipate to where it should go to, we would measure the neckline, this green line which is 1968 and the bottom and and the bottom of the head which is 1813 so the way we would do this is we would measure 1968 to 1813 so 1968 minus 1813 equals 155 points so the price should break out of here and we can anticipate a move of 155 points so 155 plus 1968 equals 2123 so we can anticipate a move up to 2123 now we can also try to get a confirmation for this move if it stays above the 19, 1968 level they can keep moving high but we can also add also look at the daily chart and what I look at on the daily chart is I'll add the cloud And if we break above the cloud, if we break out of the cloud and hold above the cloud, if we get a daily close above the cloud, we can get a push higher that can confirm the head and shoulders pattern to 21, around the 2120 area, it can go higher. So that's what I'm looking at. And that's what I'll be making my daily trades off of. Um, that break of the, the the inverted head and shoulders on a four-hour chart, which is the same neckline of the head and shoulders that started this downtrend. This head and shoulders was supposed to go down. Well, anticipated it came down to 1922. It did come down to 1922, and then bounced up and then came down even further. Um, now we're looking for a bigger move to the upside to maybe 21, 23, or 21 in that area, 21, 23, 21, 30. So that's the head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders.